morning, guys. All right, we are going to read a book about a frog's life cycle. So we're going to be able to figure out how a frog grows and changes, just like we learned about chickens and how they change. Because a frog, remember, is also an oviparous animal and hatches from an egg, too. So a frog's life cycle. Now, this nonfiction book is a little bit different. It actually acts like it's a kid's journal. So the kid is telling you what's happening as time goes on to see how the frog has changed, okay? So over, over here in his journal, it says, name J, April 15th. So think about that. Tomorrow is actually April 15th. So this is around the same time period. This is what frogs will be doing. It says, noises in the night. Tonight, I heard loud noises coming from the pond near me. It sounded like snoring. My dad said it was male leopard frogs calling female frogs to the pond. It's spring, so it's time for the frogs to mate and lay eggs. It says an adult male, an adult leopard frog weighs just over one ounce, so it's super light. That's as heavy as five quarters. So they're very, very light. And this is the leopard frog. So it says, describe what a leopard frog looks like. Why do you think they got their name? That's right, leopard frogs got their name from their spots. Okay, April 16th. Looking for eggs. This morning I went to the pond before school. Wow, the female frogs had laid their eggs during the night. Floating in the water, there were big blobs of what looked like clear jelly. Inside each blob of jelly were hundreds of black dots. Each tiny dot was a frog egg. In real life, the eggs are this size of these dots, so they're very small. A close-up photo of a leopard frog egg, and you can see that jelly around it. Leopard frog eggs and jelly. And then a female leopard frog may lay up to 7,500 eggs at a time. So they lay all these eggs at one time. Why do you think the frog eggs are inside jelly? Hmm. It's a way to protect them, isn't it? Uh-oh, April 30th, so this is two weeks later, eggs in danger. The eggs have been in the pond for two weeks. It's been a dangerous time. Fish, turtles, newts, leeches, and insects all eat frog eggs. Luckily, the jelly around the eggs helps protect them. It makes it harder for some predators to quickly swallow the tiny eggs. The jelly also protects them from being squashed. Like we said, it's like protection around them. That is also why so many eggs get eaten that's why the, the female frog has to lay so many is because they know that so many of them are going to be eaten by all kinds of different things inside the pond. Now, let's think about this. We said that that frog lays those eggs and then she leaves. So is that like a chicken? No, remember, a chicken has to take care of her eggs. She actually sits on her eggs the entire time. They're incubating to keep them warm before they hatch. Frogs just lay their eggs and leave. So May 4th, tadpoles. It says, the frog laid their eggs 18 days ago. Today, baby frogs called tadpoles hatch from the egg. So that's pretty close to chickens. So remember, it takes 21 days from the time that a chicken lays its egg for it to be incubated for the chick to hatch. It takes 18 days for you to get a tadpole. The tadpoles have big heads and long tails. They look more like fish than frogs. The tadpoles have body parts called gills that help them breathe underwater. So these are one day old tadpoles, but they're very, very small too. So here's its head, here's its gills so it can breathe like a fish underwater. And this is a two week old tadpole. So it takes two weeks for it to get to about this size. And it has this long tail. Many kinds of animals eat tadpoles too, including insects, fish, and birds. So then after they hatch from the eggs, they're still in danger of being eaten. Amazing changes. So this is all the way to July. So this is a couple months later. I've seen the tadpoles swimming in the pond every day. Their body keeps changing. At first, they grew bigger and longer. Then at five weeks old, they began to grow back legs. So you can see these teeny tiny back legs growing. A week later, front legs started to appear. So you can see those front legs. Now the tadpoles are nine weeks old. They look like tiny frogs with tails. 
So they still have that tail, but then they have their front and back weasel, back legs too. So the leopard frog tadpoles may only be about half of an inch long when they hatch. They can grow up to three inches, so they get a lot bigger. Meet a froglet. The tadpoles hatched 12 weeks ago, so that's about three months. Their tails keep getting shorter and shorter, and now they are gone. The tadpoles have become tiny young frogs called froglets. They have grown body parts called lungs for breathing air. Their lungs have taken the place of their gills. Now the froglets can leave the water and live on land. So we started out as an egg, and then we were a tadpole. And we're a tadpole until we grow those lungs and our back legs so that we can breathe, so that they can breathe out of the water. It says tadpoles eat mainly water plants. When they become froglets, they eat tiny animals such as insects. The froglet and the adult frog are life size. Use a ruler to compare them. So look, this is how small it is as a froglet. And then when it's an adult frog, it gets bigger. So basically, it's just a little bit smaller. October 15th, a lucky escape. It's fall and the frogs are now fully grown. So they took all the way from they were hatched on April and it's five months later and they're now fully grown. They have to be careful, however. Fish, birds, snakes, foxes, raccoons, and often, and often eat frogs. This evening, I saw a raccoon trying to catch a frog while I was sitting on a rock. The frog escaped by leaping into the water. It jumped about six feet. It says a leopard frog can hide from its predators. Its skin color and spots make it hard to see. So you can see it right here. So what's it doing? What's that science where we use? It's camouflaging for protection. Very good. Frog food. Frogs hunt on land for other animals to eat. Today, I saw a frog catch a dragonfly. The frog shot out its long, sticky tongue. The dragonfly stuck to its tongue. Then the frog ate it. It happened in less than a second. So you can see this frog has just caught the dragonfly. Leopard frogs eat insects, spiders, snails, slugs, and worms. They may also eat small birds and other frogs. Then waiting for spring, December 15th. So this is in the middle of winter. It's winter and the frogs are laying on the mud at the bottom of the pond. So they go all the way down to the bottom because it's warmer there than the top of the pond. The frogs will stay in the pond until the weather warms up in the spring. In April, it will be time for the frogs to mate. The male frogs that hatch this year will be in the pond calling for females. And it says a leopard frog can live up to eight years. And so here's that life cycle it's showing you that it starts off at eggs, it turns to a tadpole, then it turns to a froglet, and then it turns to an adult frog. Okay, it kind of goes all the way around. All right, we're gonna go ahead and connect to Seesaw so I can tell you what you're gonna be doing with this book. All right, guys, so now when you hit add response, you're gonna see a paper like this, and it says the life cycle of a frog. Okay, remember we have four parts of our life cycle if we're talking about a frog. It started out as an egg, we know because it's oviparous, and then it hatched into a tadpole, and then it became what we call a froglet, which is like a mini frog, and then it became a full-grown frog. So what you're going to do is in each spot, you're going to draw a picture of what it is. So for example, um, if we're talking about the eggs first, remember I can draw a whole bunch of the eggs. Remember there are eggs with the black dots in the middle. So you would draw a picture of it, and then you're going to write a sentence about it. So first, you might say the frog is an egg. So the frog is an egg, and then period. Okay, now I did not put a capital because my capital is right here in the word first. Okay, that's why there's not a capital. So first, the frog is an egg. Second, you would draw a picture of that second stage and write a sentence. And then third, the same thing, and fourth, okay? So in all, you're going to have four sentences because there are four parts of that life cycle of a frog, okay? All right, I can't wait to see your sentences and see what you've learned. Great job, guys.